Hey, what's up guys? This is Ari in the air. Welcome back to the channel. Stoked you're here. Today we're talking about the philosophy of paragliding, the motivations behind it, what we get from it, why we do it, what it means. These are really important things to think about. So let's get right into it. See ya. So, as most of us know, paragliding is one of the most surreal, incredible things that a person can do. It is challenging, it is beautiful, and it is absolutely incredible. But it's also fatally dangerous. We can fucking die doing this. Some of the best pilots have died doing this, even though they've tried their best to hedge their risk with practice and caution. This is an interesting point because it, may, it brings up all the questions of why we're doing it. I've known that it's dangerous intellectually since the beginning, but last year there were some things that happened that really brought this inquiry into a much more visceral view. It wasn't even a year ago that at my local flying site here in Oregon that a visiting pilot showed up and on launch he crashed. I made a whole video about it, but I was one of the, I pretty much watched it and I was one of the first responders and we gave the guy CPR for an hour before the heli medics showed up and declared him dead. And that was way more traumatic than I could have ever imagined. I thought that I was going to be okay. I knew that was a big deal, but the weight that I still feel from that, it's, it's still very real. Not even four weeks later, I was flying this remote site in southeastern Oregon with my best friend, and he and I have been around the world paragliding in China, Morocco, Peru, Chile, you name it. We've been all over the place together, and we were flying right at sunset, soaring. <laughs> and the wind was kind of changing. It wasn't perfect. And we knew there was some rotor, but. He just got caught in the wrong spot, the wrong time. Fuck. 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 I watched the whole thing and. I instantly had this whole incident from a month ago flash into my eyes and I just like feared the worst. So I got to the ground as fast as I possibly could in pretty much a huge panic. I ran over to him, so afraid that I was gonna find him in a heap. And when I got to him, he was coherent and he was telling me that he was surprised but he was relatively okay. And he was relatively okay for what, you know, could have possibly happened, but he had broken his one ankle and the bottom of his leg. He had severely sprained his other ankle. He had broken his wrist. He had torn his MCL. And we were at the top of a really remote mountain. So luckily our girlfriends came up and they got our glider packs and they hiked our glider packs down and he scooted on his butt down the first 200 vert, which was like really, really steep. And then I carried him on my back down like boulder fields and rocky slopes for about four hours. When we got to the truck, we were relieved, but it wasn't over yet because the next day we had to go to the hospital and it started a series of medical procedures that Chris had surgeries and he's still recovering to this day. So these events really brought into question, into the forefront of my mind, my entire flying career. Because after all, like I've almost killed myself paragliding a number of times. I've crashed, I've thrown my reserve, I've found myself in shitty positions that I didn't, that I shouldn't have been in. I've shown off, I've done all kinds of things that are stupid and that 
can lead to my untimely demise under a paraglider, of which I don't really want, right? I don't want to die paragliding. These questions that it brought up for me, if I distill them down, they sound like, why am I doing this? What am I getting from paragliding? What can I do to keep myself safe and to keep this whole thing sustainable? And ultimately, if I die paragliding, what does that mean? These are huge questions. And I see this as the growth that paragliding is trying to bring into my life. It's the growth that I'm being called into as a pilot and as a man. I'm being called to look really deeply at myself, my behaviors, my motivations, my desires, my character, my thoughts and feelings and the whole thing. The whole thing is coming into question. So these kinds of questions have been answered by philosophy for thousands of years. And so I feel like I'm being called into the philosophy of paragliding. And I want to create these videos in a way that is honest and transparent and vulnerable. And I want to invite you into my inquiry and share my inquiry with you in the hopes that together we can transform our flying so that we get the most meaning, the most value, the most joy, the most lessons, learning, growth, connection, love, the most experience, the most fulfillment out of this sport as is humanly possible. Because for the level of risk, we have to justify it with, the, with an equal amount of learning, of growth, of perspective. And I think that the philosophy of paragliding is how we do that. Philosophy is a pursuit of wisdom. In Greek, philo means the love of, Sophia is wisdom. Philosophy is the love of wisdom. And I think that if we bring the love of wisdom into paragliding, then it can help transform our perspectives about flying and about our motivations into the most sustainable form possible. I think this is a really important thing to ruminate on. And that's why I want to bring this kind of inquiry to you guys here. Because the reality is that I don't really want to be an adrenaline junkie just chasing my next high. I want to be a humble part of a complex system that gets to observe and revere what is possible, what is happening, what is real, what's happening inside of me, all of these things. I really want to be an observer and a participant and not just chasing my tail endlessly, not being so hungry all the time that I'm insatiable, that I just end up chasing and chasing and chasing and chasing until at some point some part of the system breaks and I have some huge accident, right? I don't want that. I can't eliminate entirely the possibility that accidents happen and that as a human I'm errant. But if I don't contextualize my flying, then those errors are meaningless and they are, they are futile, you know? It's like, if I don't contextualize my flying, then I shouldn't be flying. If I'm not getting any meaning out of paragliding, then why risk my life? But if I am to use paragliding as a practice that builds me up and fills me up and helps me grow up into new levels of manhood, into new levels of personhood, then I think I can justify the risk. So that's what I'm doing here. That's what, I'm, that's what I want for myself. That's what I want for you. Because my best moments flying are those moments where it's like I dissolve into the sky and it's like I just kind of become one with my glider and I become one with the sky and I just let everything go and just I just get to be in touch with reality. I get to be in touch with what is, right? And it's like I just get to be the humble part of the complex system, right? It's like I get to be the astronaut sitting in the seat of the rocket ship, you know? I just get to watch it all and I get to enjoy it. The things that I want to really address here in the philosophy of paragliding series is how to best contextualize my flying, how to best 
contextualize my paragliding for maximum sustainability, for joy, for growth, for connection, for learning, for meaning. I also know that I need to develop ways that I can better integrate my experiences so that it actually fill me up and they become a part of me so that I'm not just insatiably starving and hungry for the next thrill. I have to develop a way that I take these surreal experiences and I create meaning out of them and I integrate that meaning into myself. And also, how can I support my friends, my fellow pilots, the paragliding community and culture at large so that I can encourage them to use paragliding as a practice for development, for growth, for introspection, for meaning, so that we can take these experiences, these learnings that we have in flying and we can take them out into our relationships, into the world, so that we can be better people, so that we can support the world better as paraglide pilots, seriously. I don't know what this is gonna look like, but I know that it's important for me to consider. So, welcome to the philosophy of paragliding. I don't know what the path is, but here, let's start walking, all right? I hope this is helpful. I hope this is something that you want to dive deep on with me. So share this video with your friends, your paraglide pilots who want to think deep, who want to get the most out of flying that's possible and who don't want to just insatiably chase after the next thrill, after thrill, after thrill. I'm glad you guys are here. Subscribe to the channel. Put any questions you have in the comments below. I try to answer them all. Looking forward to seeing you on the next episode. Peace.